Hi, I'm Ed Edmonds and you're here for another installment on how to paint masks the distortions way. Today just happens to be Green Day. And I, I, no, it's not really Green Day. I don't actually know where I came up with the idea to paint green today. I just, it was just, oh, anyway, so we're going to do green. Now, it just so happens we have a gremlin, which gremlins are mostly green, so we're going to paint him. And it starts with the base, the same latex house paint uh, water base and I've picked a very colorful green. So we're going to base him first and then I'm going to multiple color him. I'm going to put a little pink on his lips. Now normally I'd put that on the gums but I wanted to show the technique. And then I've got a very gremlin-y, gargle-y, creepy yellow that I'll put on the teeth. Now what happens when you go to rub it out it's like you're half done with your paint job because it's all there. But what's really important about painting it first is if I didn't paint it first, then I'd have to come in, I'd have to spray brown on the teeth and I'd have to come in and paint each one of these teeth one at a time. We don't have time for that around here. Plus it just plain looks better because as you rub out the paint, which you'll see uh, after I, I finish uh, the base, it leaves the rub out color in the cracks. Works very well. So here we go. By the way, I always wear a gas mask. I'm not wearing it now because I have to talk to you. So just be aware, you ought not to be, now this isn't dangerous stuff, it's just particulates, you know, it's like being in a dust storm or something. Um, now when you spray with spray cans, that's a little different story. But this stuff, pretty safe, but you ought not to be breathing a lot of it. So I'll go ahead and do the pink. That took longer than normal because normally you would let the base coat dry a little bit, then you'd come in with the pink. Um, but for the purposes of time, I'm spraying over the wet paint, so it's a little bit slower. Now I'm gonna come in, this is more rubber paint. It all has to be the rubber uh, uh, paint mixture because uh, we're, we're going to use a, uh, an alcohol-based rub-out, and so you've got incompatible mediums, which work wonderfully. So I'm going to do the teeth here with an airbrush. Now, an airbrush, it's a little rough getting the rubber out, but not too bad. Okay, so now we've got a three-color base. I'll come back. We'll get this dry. We'll come back and do a... Um, a alcohol-based rub-out. I'll explain that a little better and we'll see you in just a few. All right, we're back. Now, the paint is completely dry and uh, you can put a fan on it and maybe 30 minutes or an hour it would be dry or just wait a couple hours uh, or overnight. Now, once again, I am risking my health to teach you how to make monsters, so I am not wearing this. Now, this is a respirator made by 3M. Um, I'm I, 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 they don't pay me anything for this. I'm just telling you, I've tried lots and lots of these. This one works the best for me, especially since I have a beard. Uh, it's got a very soft blue, probably neoprene or something. Really makes a good seal, saves my life. So that is just a good heads up. Safety first. So I have in here a mixture of rubbing alcohol, which you can get anywhere, any brand. The important thing is 70%. Remember that, 70%. That is mixed with FW inks. Um, FW ink, it's kind of a standard. I don't know, maybe people use different ones. I really like it. I've tried mixing one brand of ink with another. Don't do that. That does not work. I've had some fails with that. So I, we strictly deal with FW. 
basically you mix and you can mix them like like this color is a mixture of antler gray red and black and it gives me a nice uh, deep reddish brown very dark um, that is then mixed uh, at a ratio of about two uh, of the little bottles of FW this is a big bottle but two of the little bottles per quart that's a really good ratio it gives you enough ink um, but not too much because you just be rubbing and rubbing trying to get that off so same way I put the base on up first spin it around down second and we're just going to coat this and get in all the wrinkles here we go I'm getting it heavier in the eyes and nose and mouth and also I put it on real heavy and you can vary the amount you could put a very light spray on which will give you a more realistic look or you can put it on real heavy for a more dramatic look I figure for the cameras um, it'll be better to go heavy so now while that dries you want to take your 70% and this is uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol. This is not suitable for parties in case you're wondering. <music>